Simon says, you know the rules. If Simon says it, you gotta do it. If Simon doesn't say it, don't do it. You're out. Now I want y'all up. So kids, moms, dads, grandmas, grandpas, cats, dogs, stand up. Time for some Simon Says. Let's do this, ready? Simon Says, march in place. Very good, if you're marching in place, you're good. Simon Says, stop. Now Simon Says, wave. Now stop waving. If you stop waving, you're out, okay? Round two, everyone's back in, everyone's back in, ready? Simon Says, pat your belly. Simon Says, stomp your feet. Simon says, make a frowning face. Simon says, stop this nonsense. Now, did any of you catch that when Simon said to stomp his feet, he put his hands up in the air? Maybe you got it wrong. Maybe you thought, that's not fair. Well, maybe it's not. It confused the game of Simon Says. And in fact, Professor Terry said that she had something regarding Simon Says today. Let's go check in with her. <laughs> Mr. B, you are late. <laughs> well, that's because I heard you talk about Simon Says, you, you know, the other day, and so I... I <laughs> Played it with the kids, but I totally tricked them. It was wait, hilarious. Wait, how did you trick them? Well, I mean, I started it off normal, but then I started to tell them to do that. I'd be like, stomp your feet, but instead I'd do the hands. I'd be like, Simon says, make a frowny face, and then I'd smile at them, and then they probably were so confused. <laughs> yeah, I would be confused, yeah. Mr. B. That's like, it's almost like you're being a hypocrite. Did I just hear a big word? Hippopotamus. <laughs> no. Hiccupacampus. <laughs> no. Hippograph. <sighs> no. Hypocrite. Hypocrite. What's that? Hypocrite means when you say one thing, but then you do the complete opposite. That's exactly what I was doing, actually. Yes. I was totally being a hypocrite. Hypocrite. No, it's totally confusing for people. Is that a bad thing? Yeah, it can be. Okay. Here, have a piece of gum. Thanks, Professor. I know, Jay. I'm gonna have some too. Mm. <laughs> I love gum. Ooh, I love gum too. What? What? What's wrong, Mr. B? That's terrible. Mine is it? No, what? Yours? This gum was disgusting, Professor. Coop. Really? What did you put in that? Well, I wonder why it's in the same packaging as my gum. Yeah, but it, believe me, this is not gum. Well, I mean, it's in the same wrapper, right? Let me see your wrapper. It's in the same wrapper as my gum. I don't care what you say, Professor T. This is like vile, it's disgusting. This is not gum. Wow, so maybe the gum's kind of hypocritical then, right? Are you trying to drop the truth bombs on me here? Yeah, Mr. B, it's like this gum. Let's say that on the outside, when I'm with my friends here at church, I act one way. Yeah. But then when I leave church and I go maybe to school and some of those friends aren't maybe Christians and I act totally different, Ooh. that's being a hypocrite. Ah, kind of like when I tricked those kids in the game. Yeah, they were probably super confused. Yeah, I... I think I get what you're what you're saying now, Professor T. I got, it. but you mind if I try these out? Are there no, other good pieces in here? No. I gotta go. This taste is disgusting. Now I get it. Professor T was talking about what we were doing earlier when we played Simon Says. Maybe it was frustrating or confusing for you because I said one thing, but then I did something entirely different. That's that big word that Professor T was talking about: hypocrisy. Now, there's this guy, Paul. We learned about him just a couple weeks ago. And Paul was a guy who followed Jesus after Jesus transformed his life. And, and he had a buddy named Peter, another person who followed Jesus. And one day, Paul noticed that 
Peter was acting one way with one group of people, the Gentiles. He would like hang out with them and he'd act one way. And then when Peter would hang out with the Jews, he'd act a totally different way. And Paul called him out on it and said, Peter, you need to follow Jesus no matter who you are with. And that's what God calls us to do as well. He says, no matter who I'm with, even if it's someone who believes in Jesus or who doesn't, my purpose remains the same. I follow Jesus no matter what, so that what I do and what I say points to him and not to anything or anyone else. We live for Jesus.